Hi everyone, it's Caroline and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a better way for keeping your Anna Griffin instruction sheets organized. And it's simply putting them in a three ring binder. And as you know, these wonderful instruction sheets, they begin to pile up as you begin to collect, speaking from experience. And the way I do it is simply take the instruction sheet and put it in a three ring protective sheet and then put them in the binder. Now when I uh, get a die and I just take the instruction sheet, slip it in and just put it at the back of the book. So when I need it, I just pull it out, open it up, use it, then just simply put it back. Just like I did with this teacup instruction sheet. And, and now it's safe for future use. Now I got this binder at Tuesday morning for $5. I got the three ring protective sheets from probably Walmart. And as you can see, and I'm just gonna put this one back in, I need a new binder because this one is full just like my shelves and my drawers because I do love Anna's products. So another thing I want to show you is, remember her alphabet dies? Well, when I want to use one or review what they kind of look like, I go back to where I took the metal sheet of, of dies, ran it through my Empress, and that way I can see right away what it looks like, the size, without trying to figure out what that metal plate looks like. And at the end of this video also, I'm going to show you what I did with the, her word dies. Um, a lot of those were back in the cuddle bug days. Um, but it's a really easy way to organize them. I've again ran them through uh, my die cutting machine and in black, mounted them on a piece, piece of paper, put them in a protective sleeve, and put the dies on a magnet right behind the words. So. I hope you like this video and think about subscribing. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.